The new Quest 3 versus the Quest Pro headset. Which one is the best and should you upgrade? Let's dive right into it. The Quest 3 is Meta's new VR headset to join their lineup. But with its significant changes when looking at the Quest 2, it leaves the question of how good it compares to their Meta Quest Pro. So let's start with the first and most obvious one being the design and comfort. The Meta Quest 3 has an updated head strap that has two parts going back instead of just one. The Quest Pro, on the other hand, has a much more premium version that goes all the way around your head. And to top it off, it also includes the battery of the headset itself. So that means that even though the Quest Pro weighs 200 grams more, it will still feel a lot less front heavy on your face. And this, of course, is thanks to its much better weight distribution. Whereas the Quest 3 has everything built into its front visor. But luckily, to compensate for this, both of these headsets are rocking their new pancake lenses. And the reason why this is so important is because thanks to them, the headset can be 40% slimmer, so that even with the extra weight in the front, it will feel much more comfortable compared to that of the Quest 2. But that brings us to another big difference between these two headsets, and those are the brand new sensors that we can see on the front of the Quest 3. This is the absolute insane upgrade from Meta because inside them, they included a depth sensor as well as full color cameras so you can see your surroundings as if it was in real life. Whereas the Quest Pro uses low resolution black and white cameras where it then afterwards slaps the color on top of it. This means that the Quest 3 is much more accurate when it comes to mixed reality. And like Mark Zuckerberg said himself, this is also becoming one of their main focus points for the future of VR. And that gets us to the biggest differences which are the performance and specs. The huge upgrade that the Quest 3 is getting is all thanks to their brand new chipset, with this one being called the Snapdragon XR2 Generation 2, which on paper is two to three times more powerful than their previous headset. But it doesn't stop there, since the screen quality is also much higher, rocking at 2064 by 2208 pixels per eye, which is roughly around 37% increase from their Quest Pro. But there are some things where the Quest Pro has the upper hand, since they have the amazing built-in features like eye tracking and foveated rendering directly built into the headset, and even the more experimental face tracking that could help your avatars look a lot more realistic. And it is those things that are not present in the Quest 3. Now other differences regarding specs is that the Quest 3 also has a slightly bigger field of view, now being around 110 degrees and also rocking at a standard 120 Hz refresh rate. But it is not just the headset that is significantly different, getting us to the next big step, which are the controllers. Now, besides its obvious color change, they might look very similar at first sight. Of course, this is not the case at all, because the ones from the Quest Pro have a significant upgrade. These are also brand named the Touch Pro controllers, and their unique feature is that they are completely self-tracking separately from the VR headset. That means it can even track your movements when you have your hands behind your back. This is all thanks to the cameras that are built directly into it. And to to make it even better, they also included a stylus tip so you can draw and paint inside virtual reality. Now where the Quest 3 controllers, who are also named the Touch Plus, do not have these cameras included. That means that all the tracking has to be done by the headset itself. But the good news is that both of them include their brand new True Haptics, giving you much more physical feedback, similar to what we see in the PlayStation VR 2 controllers. And looking towards the future, they are upgrading this so much that you will eventually be able to feel subtle movements, like pulling a bowstring or the breaking of a surface. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is the price of these headsets. Now the new Quest 3 comes in at a price point of $500 and is a lot less compared to the Quest Pro, which comes in at a whopping $1,000. But a couple things to keep in mind is that this is for the 256 gigabyte model, meaning you have double the storage of that of the Quest 3. Not only that, but as some of you hardcore fans might know, is that the Quest Pro originally launched at a much higher price. But because of the poor sales, Meta has cut it down significantly. And as an extra, there is also a second model of the Quest 3 that is rocking a total of 512 gigabytes that will set you back a total of $650. But personally, I think this is way too much storage for the amount of VR games that you're gonna play. And in the end, that basically means that the Quest Pro headset costs about the same as two times the Quest 3. But before we continue with one of the most important points, a quick word from the company that made this video possible. 
If you feel like your screen in VR is too blurry, or if you sometimes wish that your graphics look just a bit sharper, then you might want to check out the lenses from the company named VR Wave, especially if you're also wearing glasses or contacts in real life, because they make lenses for VR headsets like the Quest 2 that you can just click in and directly start using taking your VR experience quickly to the next level. They even make them for the new and upcoming headsets, like the Quest 3 and the PlayStation VR 2. And you can use the code FRELITY for a 5% discount on your total purchase. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description below. And with that said, let's get right back into it. So let's talk about the games, because that's what most people will be using this headset for in the first place. Now, both of them will have access to the exact identical gaming library. It is thanks to the new Quest Pro chip that it will run the games much smoother and even look a lot more crisp compared to the Quest Pro. Secondly, with this in mind and their big focus on mixed reality, it will also mean that at some point we will get Quest 3 exclusive games, which makes this option look a lot more future proof. And because of that, we have our final conclusion. On paper, when comparing both headsets, they each have their pros and cons. But when we look at the total picture, I think that the Quest 3 is a clear winner. Not only are its specs much higher, with its brand new chipset, better screen, and insane capabilities for mixed reality, it also comes in at half the price of that of the Quest Pro. Although, there are some features that you will miss out on. These are things like eye tracking and face tracking, as well as voviated rendering. In addition, while the Touch Pro controllers are definitely better, do keep in mind that the Quest Pro comes in at two times the price of that of the Quest 3. So in the end, if you are looking to buy a new VR headset, I think that the Quest 3 will probably be your best bet. And if you already own a Quest Pro, perhaps you can see if you can still sell it for a good price. But if you're still on the fence about it and want to see the new Quest 3 compared to the original Quest 2, then make sure you click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out.